art students, welcome back to day five of Art Magic, which means we are jumping into a new skill. So we have learned that the more details we add, the better our drawings look. And now we're gonna learn how to incorporate texture. Texture is like how something feels. And so there's ways that as drawers, we can add textures and those make our drawings feel and look, well not actually feel, like you don't touch your drawing, but it like, it makes your eyeballs think that your drawing has a feeling to it and that will make your art more realistic. Our art this time, I told you last week that it is gonna connect because many people think that Crystal is inspired by this artist. This artist's name is Fan Quan. Again, Miss Russ does her best with the pronunciations. If you speak Chinese and know how to pronounce this correctly, I'm so sorry if it is wrong. This piece is called Travelers Among Mountains and Streams. It is ink and a little bit of color on silk, and it is a ginormous, like ginormous picture. So much, much, much bigger than what I have it here. But you will notice, Miss Russ is like, I basically can't see anything. Well, this art is super old, like over a thousand years old, a thousand years old. So because of that, with technology, Miss Russ took a section of it. She took like this space right in here. And I used some filters to make it a little easier for you to see. Where's China? We should talk about that. So if you are in the United States here, China is whoo, all the way over here, a very, very far, far, far away from here. Okay, let's get you a little closer. So this is all a place. Now remember, it was that, and Miss Russ zoomed into this, and look at all of these details. This artist, we don't know a lot about this artist, but this artist was exceptional at details. I mean, there's like little animals in there and streams and look, there's a little hole. I mean, like everything is in there and the texture is what makes this piece just truly brilliant. So we're gonna make sure our name is on it. We're gonna write that it is day five. We are then gonna make sure our picture plane is the same size as what we are drawing. And then we are gonna start out with a little bit of line work. So I am gonna go ahead and take this line that I see here and I kind of have to make it up because that's all kind of texture in there. And then I'm gonna take some of these lines here and I'm just gonna put down enough on my paper so that I kind of have like a starting place. So let's go ahead and do that. So I got this guy here, okay? And then I've got this little piece here. This little guy comes up and goes like this. And I've got some of these guys going on like in here. Okay, now I'm going to start adding in textures. And when I do a texture, I am going to actually make the art as I go. So like this tree, rather than drawing it like this, you know, Ooh, Miss Russ. Instead of that, I want to make this texture that this artist has created, and that's gonna give me the sense of trees. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna add in, again, my eye is looking at what I am drawing, and I am adding in the texture of what I see. And now I'm gonna keep going. So the tree kind of goes this way, this way. Now some artists, they, rather than drawing a ton of lines, they just like to jump right in to these textures. In fact, Miss Russ is one of them. She prefers to draw textures. It lets your eye kind of slow down when you draw. So you can go ahead and be drawing with me. And it, it lets, it lets the, the picture, it doesn't have to be so perfect. 
because there's so much more for your eye to look at, and yet it's still, your eye is still gonna go, well, those are some pine trees on top of a rock. Okay, I ran out of room. All right, now I have like this texture of some water. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna, re I'm gonna let my, my hand dance. So I'm gonna come and let my hand dance. Then it's like it comes down, it cascades over, then it starts to pool down here. This has texture that's kind of dark. It's kind of like some people think when they're drawing, oh, some of the water is going this way. Like if you ever think, oh, I want to color that in, what you're really thinking is I want to add the textures of what I see. The trick is, is that sometimes they're smooth textures, sometimes they're lined textures, and you just slowly keep adding more and more. Now these, these textures have to be bigger. How many times can Miss Russ say that word? Because this rock is closer to us. Things that are closer to us are bigger. You'll notice as Miss Russ finds that a line isn't where she wants it, she fixes it. She has these little, little creatures in here. Look at them. They're like deer or something. They're right in there. Got a tree. Now every once in a while you can't get away from it. Like this tree, I'm just going to have to draw in this tree. Oh, Miss Russ is losing track of her time. <laughs> okay, sometimes Miss Russ has to remember that she is not the one doing the art magic, but it gets really addictive to draw textures. So if you want to continue to draw in the textures that you see, your picture will just get more and more and more and more realistic. So happy art making and happy drawing. Bye.